Hello everyone, um, this is going to be the second uh, part of my series on BMW Center Tools uh, programs and software. Today I'm going to show you how to do some coding on an E-Series BMW using NTS Expert and also NTS Dummy. So once you have NTS Expert loaded up, you want to go to File, Load Profile, and you're going to have two uh, profiles you know, loaded up. You have your factory coding profile for any factory coding, let's say you're replacing an FRAM module or any sort of module and you want it to code, be coded to factory default for your car, so you want to code that module for your car and your options, that's what you would use. Or it can use manipulation, which if you want to um, manually change a parameter in the module, you can read the coding file, change the parameter, and then code it back to the module. So for you know the first demonstration, I'm going to be factory coding a module. So once you hit factory coding, you can hit OK. Then you're going to have start, chassis, and choose ECU pop up. You're going to hit start, then go to chassis, and then you're going to want to select the chassis, the main chassis of your car. So there's not going to be all the chassis on here. It's just going to be the main, the main one. So so if you have an E90 X3 series or, or 1 series or Z4, you're going to E89. If you have a 5 or 6 series, you're going to hit E60. Or if you have an X5 or an X6, you're going to hit E70 and so on and so on. So just pick the, the, the chassis code closest to your actual chassis. So you're going to hit OK. Then you're also going to read, read from the CAS or the FRM. They both save the... Um, the vehicle order, um, and this will vary between cars. But some cars use the CAS, some use uh, another module, but generally it's in a select, pre select the correct ECU to read all the car's information. So once that's selected, you hit OK. And then up here, you're going to see your FG will be your VIN, and your FA will be the vehicle order for your car. So once that's loaded up, you can hit the back button. And now we have two more buttons populated. You have process ECU and car slash key memory. So if I want to code, factory code a module, so let's say I replaced my junction box, we're going to hit process ECU. And then this is the list of modules that the software has detected that's in, installed in your, your vehicle. And you know, it, it, it might take a little bit of getting used to and experience to know what each of these modules are, but just a quick reference, your 2JBBF or JBBF will be your junction box module, um, 6BMOT will be your DME, and, and these will vary slightly between cars. Your ABG is your airbag mod a module, your BDSC is your DSC pump, your CAS is your car access system module. The CIC is your, your car entertainment computer or your head unit. The CID is the display in your car. The EKP is the fuel pump. The FCD is your dome light or roof module that controls your sunroof. Your IHK is your climate control module. The COMBI is your instrument cluster. Media is the COM box. NFRM is your, your, your footwell module. If you have an earlier car, um, it will also be called the FRM or the NFRM. Like it, That's one of the little variations. Your VGSG is your transfer case module. And the ZBE is the iDrive controller. So right now, I want a factory code my junction box module. So I'm going to hit 2 JBBF. Hit OK. Hit OK again, and then all you need to do to factory code it is hit execute job. But this is going to error out because I don't have a junction box 2 installed in my car. So um, I do have my vehicle order coded as an LCI car, but this is really a pre-LCI car. So that's one of the limitations of NCS Expert, you know, it, it only knows what you code in your vehicle order. So if you change your vehicle order up or change the build date, you might get an error like that. But I know if I go back, you can hit change ECU now and you can change the ECU. So let's try the cast module. That, sh that should work just fine. 
hit execute job, SG codeerns the the job name for, for coding a module and see, you know, job started and job ended. So that's all factory coded. And you can also, here it says change job. You can change, these are all of the various jobs you can do to each module. But the two ones you're going to use, you know, most frequently is SG Coderin or Coder Daden Leeson. You know, my, my German isn't terribly good, but that's how I pronounce that. So if I wanted to read the module, that's also what I would do. And that read, read the, uh, you know, the module, or you can hit just read ECU. And you see here, this is the, uh, one of the files that, you know, the program reads from the car, but you can just exit that out. That'll pop up every time you read the ECU. But if I actually want to make a change to that file, and write it to the car, I can't be doing this in the factory coding profile. So let's say I want to edit the, the CAS file. I need to go file, load profile, and load the, the manipulation file, uh, profile. Hit OK, and then I can hit process ECU again, CAS, and then I can just hit read ECU. So that's the file, but then so normally, if, if I was, you know, before this program, you would go into your local disk C, NCS expert, your work file, and then if you wanted to read, read the thing, this is the file that the software saved, read from the module and saved to your computer, and you can select. You see, this is the actual file that the car, you know, has read. And you see, all of this is in German, and it's very difficult to work with. But there's this great program called NCS Dummy. So all you need to do is make sure that you see this little, this is the actual firmware name. That's on the firmware on your module. So it says CAS2, since it's a CAS2, and then C05 is the firmware version. So if you go into NCS Dummy... You want to make sure you select your chassis. And this is also really useful because you see how there is a list, you know, on NCS Expert of, e, you know, E36 to R56, the mini. But this shows you all the different chassis codes that you can code with that, that main, main chassis code. So anyway, we're going to select this. Let that load. You see this little loading bar on the top. It takes a second. Then you can go to Module. Then you can see, okay, here we have we found the firmware CAS2 C05. So we can load that up. And this is kind of like a little cheat cheat guide for coding your, your, your module. And then all you need to do is browse. You can hit the little little arrow on here and you hit load fsw underscore psw.trc. So you can load that and you see this is this same file or we go back this is the same file that we have except there's an actual on most of these there's a, a, a English translation of what it is and all the possible values so a lot of it you know is uh, active or, or neat active but you know for something like this like cylinder count you, you know here's all the options so it makes it very easy so and also, if you do Control F, the Finder thing, make sure you have these all of these checked. And so, let's say a common thing for the cast module to code is the comfort closing. So I can search comfort. So, you know, it'll it'll actually search for the translation and the actual thing. So you can find next, and see. You know, this is a common thing that someone would want to do er key out auto vr which basically does it'll unlock all your doors when you shut the engine off that's very useful i coded that in when i had my e90 and also you see comfort opening is when you can uh, open all the windows and stuff with by holding down your unlock button 
but also you can do comfort closing as well, um, where you can, on US cars, it's disabled from default for, for legal reason, but you can hit, make, set that to active and you can hold down your remote, your lock button, and it'll close up on, on all the windows, which is cool. So, you know, you can use this, search through it, and you can find out little tweaks you can do. And once you do that, all you have to do is hit this export FSW PSW button and export it, export the .man file or the manipulated file, and that's saved back in your work folder right here. So the software, we edited it with the, with the, you know, the easy to use interface, we saved it, it's here. And now you can go back into NCS Expert. We read it, we need to change job, to SG Coderin, hit OK, and then we can execute job. And what's this doing now? It's taking the file that we manipulated and it's gonna send it to the cast module. So, you know, this can be useful for like removing the legal disclaimer or, or doing a few like auto folding mirror tweaks or whatever, or whatever tweaks you need to do. That is how you do them instead of using, you know, there's like a few, you know, little apps you can do what makes it easier, but this is how you would do it on a Windows computer. Another thing that I want to show you is you can also go through your VO. So you can hit, go back, hit the start button, and then edit VO, and then you can select your chassis again. And then here you can, if you want to change the VIN, you can do that. Just make sure this last digit is actually a check digit. So if you want to change the VIN, you can type in your 17 digit VIN and then hit this calculate checksum and it'll calculate your check digit for you. But you can hit OK. And this is how, um, if you want to edit or modify your vehicle order in any way, shape, or form, this is how you do it. So normally you would have more option codes in this, but once again, this isn't an actual car. This is my coding bench. This is how I have it set up now, but let's say, um, let, let's say you want to delete something. Um, let's say I don't want, I don't want US DVD. So 697 is um, the VO code for DVD region one, which is the US. So if you don't want any of these vehicle orders, you can hit the delete button and it'll delete it. Or you can also add them in this box, make sure for vehicle orders, you want to have the dollar sign and then your option code, so 697, and you hit add. And the same thing for all of these, if you want to change the build date, you can delete it. For the build date, you need to have uh, this sign and you can change your build date. But actually, this isn't a build date per se. It's called the I-step date. It's the, the firmware version that the car was flashed with from the factory. And you know, these come out a couple times a year. So you can't put, you know, 0411, because that's on an I-step date. You have to put 0311, or I believe 0711, or, 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 and so on and so on. There are actually ICE updates when the BMW factory released a different, uh, an updated software package. So I, I want to add this back. So let's say, you know, a common thing on E series to change the build date, if you're retrofitting a newer FRM2 or FRM3, you would need to code it with at least an 0307 build date. Or if you're doing a CIC, you need at least like an 0909 build date. Or if you're doing combox like this car set up, you need an 0311 build date. And then another thing, you know, at the bottom of your VO list, this is your paint code, which, you know, normally you wouldn't need to change. This is your upholstery code. This is your type code. So I know it might be common. So let's say if you are retrofitting an M3 DSC pump, this is the type code for a standard 325i. X-Drive, I believe this is the, an X-Drive car originally. You can change that for the M3 one, but once again, make sure you type in the entire code. You know, you need the asterisks uh, and then your type code. And then this thing right here, 
It's called like an HO code or a work code. Um, these are kind of like dealer add-ons or afterwards you can code something. So if you want to, let's say, delete SOS on any any of these E-Series cars, because, you know, they, they're disabled now because, you know, the 2G network is gone, you can type the little um, hyphen and you can do TL... T-E-L-D, which is the U.S. Telematics Delete Code. So this isn't an option code, but it's a code they added on later on to do a certain coding function. So you can add that, and let's say we do add that code, and we want that to be saved to the car. When you hit OK, the modifications to the VO code, or your, your entire FA or VO, it's not saved. So if you want to just temporarily change it to code, like a retrofitted module, this is great, but not saved, but like for something like the telematics delete, you want, so, so let's say the dealership codes something or a shop or whatever, you don't want to keep adding that in every time you want to code something, you can actually save it to the car. So once your changes are done, you can go back, and this can be on any uh, profile, you can go back, Process ECU, and then on the E90 at least for this bench, there's two modules that save the vehicle order, your CAS module and your FRM. So you want to first go to your CAS module, hit OK, then change job, then you can do FA write and hit OK. And then once you do that, you can hit execute job. And that's going to write your modified FA to the car. And then you have to go back, hit change ECU again, and then hit your FRM or NFRM. And then I don't have an FRM hooked up because if I hit this, it'll error out. But you can hit execute job again, and that'll write your FA to the car. So that, that's pretty much um, how you would use NCS Expert. This is great for retrofitting modules, coding a factory, replaced module. Your FRM went out, you need to replace it. You know, this is a very powerful and useful software suite with the two programs. And once you kind of get the hang of it, it's, it's not that hard to do. So people, you know, will pay, you know, 100 bucks for someone, a coder to go code something in. You can code something in in two minutes so you know this once you know how to use the software you can save a lot of money well this wraps up the the second edition or a second uh video i'm making in this bmw uh, center tool series if you have any questions feel free to put in the comments and make sure if you found this you know video useful like and subscribe thank you